Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Center playthrough. This is part 15 and why are we here? Why? Of all the places I could have logged off, why do I do this to myself? Really? Like, I had to stop right before this particular trainer. This particular trainer. I don't know why, but this particular trainer scared me so much I had to save before him. I'm, I don't know why I did that. I'm pretty sure I even said last episode that that was going to annoy me, and it did. So, we are going to see if this guy actually has the god of all Pokemon, which is the reason I had to stop here. Let's see. Does he actually? He had... He does. I can't. I can't even be mad. I love that Pokemon. I really do. You know what? He has a god of all Pokemon. Fair, fair, fair enough. I can't even be mad. And I also learned Gabite. Although it learns Dual Chop really early, it also does get Dragon Claw. It, it gets Dragon Claw at level 33. So this episode, we're going to really try and get Dragon Claw. Because that's a move I really like. Because 100% accuracy, as, as pedantic as it may seem for me to go for a 10% accuracy increase, it's, it's good. It's good. It means I can rely on the move in situations where I could possibly faint. And I would like that. Also, I get to watch the health bar drop quicker. But, you know, that's, that's not as important. Uh, Chansey. We can dual chop a Chansey, and it should do a good amount. What did I say? What did I say? The first... Don't do this to me, Chansey. Don't do this to me. Don't. Don't do this to me. Dual chop. Why can't you be 100% accuracy right now? Take down. That was a crit! That was a crit. That damage there was a crit. That's kind of pathetic. Um, that did a that did a really good amount, and he soft boils. We can finish it with our exclamation mark and be good to go. Why did I why did I do this to myself? Why did I make it an exclamation mark? I could have given I could have made it any move. I could have called it Babby Quake, but I didn't. I just oh well oh well it doesn't matter. Roselia, see that isn't an electric or a fire type. If I could find an electrical fire type, I should have taken that Helioptile. I really should. But I did not want a third normal type on the team. That was my main reason against it. And I want a physical electric type. That was also another reason against it. Sends out a bee trail. Ooh, okay. Not even bad. Nice Pokemon. That Aerial Ace animation, I, I swear I just saw the back of Staravia pop up. I'm gonna look very carefully next time I see it to see if I'm actually seeing things. <laughs> Amphros, oh my god, that's a powerful Pokemon. Oh my god. Why did, why does this person have an Amphros? Whoa, whoa there. Whoa there. Calm down. Calm down. That's a strong Pokemon. I don't I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I feel good about this. But it gets crit and it's destroyed. Okay. Good job, imaginary Babby Quake. <laughs> Heracross. Okay, this is another chance for me to check Aerial Ace at least, because I am definitely going into Staravia against this. Especially as we have a four times super effective area laser to hit it with. Now, let's see if we actually see the back of Staravia or if I am just imagining things. I'm pretty sure I did just see it. It's really hard to tell because it goes by so quickly. I guess it's even in the name, area Ace, quick. Mm, makes sense. And finally, you have a Butterfree. I was going to say she's only going to have Pokemon that can Mega Evolve, and then she sends out this. Then she sends out this terrifying Butterfree which can't mega evolve the poor thing. Surrounded by potential candidates everywhere, and then that. Uh, take down, no, because we have return, which is stronger. Well, when it, we're at max happiness, it's stronger, and doesn't give us the recoil damage. So there is no reason whatsoever for us to have takedown. I did say I wanted a fire type. Of all the fire types I could find, I'm not gonna lie, Charizard is not my favourite Pokemon, but it has Dragon Rage, it's a fire type, I'll take it, I'll take it, we can take this, this is fine. Um, we're just going to use our one Ultra Ball, why not? We don't have any way to status this thing, do we? Ah, uh, that could be a problem. That could make catching this a real pain, starters have very high catch rates, or very low catch rates depending on how you think of it. Either way, they're hard to catch, so we're gonna be screwed. Uh, we can go into the Geodude pretty easily. So we aren't going to get hit by anything other than Dragon Rage. That's just to use up our Great Balls. I bought a lot more Pokeballs than what I needed. I say that. I might use all of my Pokeballs right now. Who knows? 
goes for the smoke screen. Smoke screen. Okay. Okay. Sure. After this, if it still doesn't catch, and our Geodude faints, we can go into the Zangoose and weaken it a little bit more with Fury Cutter, because Fury Cutter should do two damage. Maybe not even two. It might even do one damage. I don't know. It's a very weak move. If it would just like to get in the ball, however, no, okay. See, Insurgents had a speed up button. I don't know why this game doesn't. But I would love a speed up button right now. I really would. Just say this Charmeleon would get in the ball. Go on. Go on. Damn it. All it's doing is lowering my accuracy, which is doing absolutely nothing for it. It's getting nothing from this. Nothing at all. You're not even attacking me. I can't miss a Pokeball. But we get a Charmeleon. Okay, there's our fire type. Bonsly, you are going to be swapped out. You are 100% going to be swapped out. Um, as for a nickname, I don't have a nickname in mind, so I'm not going to nickname you just yet. Sadly, Starbound had to die for that. I, no, that, that shouldn't have happened. But as this is a hiker, I'm going to guess he has Ground-type Pokemon and Rock-type Pokemon. If not, I've made a terrible mistake. Graveler, Rock Ground-type. Nailed it. There we go. So let's see. Um, he... Let's see if he has Sturdy. He might not have Sturdy. Let's really hope he doesn't have Sturdy. Of course he has Sturdy. As my Geodude is the only Geodude in the world that doesn't have Sturdy. Great. But we can finish it with a Twister, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. Preserve that 10 PP brine. And get that tiny bit of XP. Baldor. This is probably also going to have Sturdy. And then what? Onyx with Sturdy? <laughs> I feel like that's the hiker's motto. If it can get Sturdy, they can use it. I feel like that, that could work. That could actually work. I just want to see all hikers using Shackles from now on. That'd be great. Power Gem did a lot of damage, actually, considering that's a special move. Baldor's special attack. Maybe it's higher than I thought, but I thought it was... Free. I really did. I thought it was free. Uh, Lavatar, hang on, are you Jonathan? Jonathan, the gym leader? Oh my god, just, I, I'm, I'm honored to be in your presence again, Jonathan. How are you? Damn. Hiker Aladdin. Why, why is his name Aladdin? <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? We see another Charmeleon, but we already have one, so it doesn't matter. Now we just need a physical electric type. Physical electric type would be quite nice. Look at my favorite Pokemon. What is your favorite Pokemon? You tell me. You have three Pokemon. That's that's not a favorite. Oh, are you going to have all of the uh, Hoenn stars? That's the region. From Professor Birch. Because before we had the guy with all of the um, starters from... Why can I not remember region names today? From Johto with Professor Elm, because he had like Chicory, Erto, Dial, Cyndaquil, those ones. So yeah, this guy is actually going to have them all. Okay, Leaf Blade. I like that animation. I really like that animation. That's a really nice animation, Grovile. I can't even be mad. Thankfully, he didn't crit with that high crit move. We are going to hit level 33. We are going to learn Dragon Claw. Yes, please. Please give me Dragon Claw. What I'd really like is to get rid of Cut. That'd be great. Marsh Um. Um. You know what? We'll stay in. No one really has great typing against Marsh because we don't have any grass type moves, but Dragon Claw should do a good amount. Oh, wow. Okay. Or we can just crit and kill the Marsh in one. That, that works. That definitely works. Okay. No, I got these from Professor Birch. So, yeah. I'm going to assume there's also going to be a guy with all of the Sinnoh starters and all of the Unova starters. Now, let me try and avoid as many of these Pokemon as possible. I don't feel like fighting him. Who are you? You go into a dead end. Okay, I guess I do feel like fighting him. Can I get past him? No, I cannot. Experiment 996 has begun. 996? That may be a reference to something I'm not getting. If it is, um, my, my bad. My bad. I should, probably should get it. Uh, we can brine this Porygon. It should do a good amount. It takes him just below half. 
So, I mean, if we hit this Brian, he's dead. Psybeam, okay. Thankfully, he doesn't have Tri Attack. If he had Tri Attack, we would be screwed. Uh, Magneton. Ooh, we have to bite with Ground Type move. We're fine. We're fine. I got a little bit worried for a second there, like, oh no, Gabite's fainted, but Gabite isn't fainted. Staravia is fainted. One Pokemon. Do you have Sturdy? Of course. Of course it has Sturdy. Every Pokemon has Sturdy today. And I don't know why. We can finish it with a Slash, because we know it's not static. Um, does Magneton even get static? Am I imagining things? Cast form. <laughs> this Pokemon! <laughs> Make it leave! <laughs> <laughs> Make it leave right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop that. Stop going for hail right now. Stop that. No. This thing could have gone for powder snow, actually. Now that I think about it, if that thing had gone for powder snow, it could have taken out a goodbye. We are so close to leveling up. Is that that's just it's just uncalled for. That is that XP I'm left on like one XP. It's just uncalled for. Don't like that. Rosalia, as much as we need a grass type move, I need to stop like appearing everywhere, please. That'd be great. Um, I'm gonna run past you because I want to heal up my Pokemon. Charmeleon, look, we we discussed this. Okay, I need you gone. I need you gone. I'm happy that I saw you once. Honestly, that's all I need. Now we have made it to Kivu Town. Now where is the Pokemon Center here? Because my Pokemon are dying on the inside. Okay, here we go. We're fine. We are just fine now. That's all I needed. We're gonna heal up. We're gonna run back to that route. We're gonna finish everyone off, and then we're gonna come back into Kivu Town. Because honestly, I could use all the XP I can get. In fact, let's put Staravia back in front. Because you're holding the lucky egg. We may as well get as much usage out of it as possible, and you're pretty close to evolving, actually. View battle. You know what they told me when they kicked me out of Kanto? They told me my Flareon wasn't good enough, that it didn't have moves. Watch me prove them wrong. I can't, I can't even argue. Flareon has, like, no moves. She's not kidding. Its physical attack is great. Its stats are great. It just has a really terrible move fall. Fire Spin. Ah. Scare we. <laughs> Also, Fire was special in first gen, which meant Flareon really couldn't do anything it needed to. Vaporeon was great. Jolteon, great. Flareon, not great. <laughs> Flareon was bad. <laughs> um, and we will also run back up to you, and we'll battle you. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a young trainer by the name of Carlos. <gasps> Wait, what? They went into Route 310 to try their luck but ended their journey at the hands of Carl. What? <laughs> Stop saying my name. Cool trainer Carl. It's Carlos v. Carl. Let's go. Let's go right now. You be me. Let's go. I don't, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable with what is happening right now. I don't like this. It's, I feel like I'm fighting myself. Oh God. I definitely saw Story via's back sprite. 100% saw it. Payback, but you go first, so it's gonna do nothing, and we snap out of confusion first turn. Why does that why does Staravia's back sprite pop up on it? It's so weird. And you're about to send in Vigoroth of all the Pokemon Vigoroth. Okay. Okay. You know what? You send in whatever you want. I kinda want this person to have a Luxio, so I can feel like it is actually me trying to fight myself. Oh, we've got Encore into Dragon Claw. I actually forgot that, and I was like, well, I didn't click anything. Uh, Kabai is level 34, and you're about to send in Porygon 2. And I'm gonna go into Queendra just because it's the lowest level, and I like to have my Pokemon all at a similar pace. Which means I'm probably gonna grind up Charmeleon to about level 34 off camera. Purely because I hate grinding on screen. I know this is a playthrough and it's all relaxing and stuff, but I don't need a grinding on touch. I'll just catch it up in off screen because grinding's gonna take forever. I feel like Porygon 2 is easier to defeat than the Porygon we fought earlier. But impossible. Not impossible. I want to hear more of the story. Oh, but first things first, Staravia is evolving. Staravia is here. Let's go, Staravia. I'm ready. Are you going to learn close combat? Because if you are, I I need that move. 
You're gonna get rid of double team for close combat if you do. Congratulations, your star bound evolved into Star Raptor. Now you're actually star bound from the last playthrough from Pokemon Platinum. Good job. And you're trying to learn close combat, yes? Please. Please give me that move. We have a really nice move set right now. I'm I am not opposed. Look at this majestic Star Raptor following me. My god, it's so nice. That's great. That's great. Maractus! <laughs> Maractus! <laughs> Maractus, um, if you would be so kind as to leave. <laughs> that, that'd be great. And we're gonna head back to Kivu Town, and we're gonna look around Kivu Town for a little bit. I really want to join the Rangers, but they don't want me. They said my Pokemon wasn't strong enough. My Weedle will show them all. I know we will. Get out. Get out. Get out right now. Get out. Oh, great altar of passive entertainment. Bestow upon me the discordant images at such speed as to make linear four impossible. In other words, you like the TV. Got it. Um, but Blazes, Blazes, what are you doing here? Have you challenged our gym yet? Graham's a really young trainer, but damn, is he tough. Challenge our gym, you just said the same thing. Why? Why would you need to do that? Um, so I guess we have another gym in this town. Have you seen Graham yet? I know he's only 11, but he's pretty cute. He that, uh, just, just stop. Just stop right there. My daddy has an abs always willing to give away. Do you want it? I, I, I guess. Yes. What do you want? Graham's the leader of this town. He's a tough ghost type trainer. Are you planning on challenging him? Yeah, sure. Well, you'll need a good dark or ghost type to take him on then. Do you have one? Uh, no. Would you like to trade a Pokemon for my Absol? Any Pokemon will do! Bye, Bonsley. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Bonsley. You did something, Bonsley. I have no need for this Bonsley anymore. I just wanted to get rid of it for the first Pokemon I could. <laughs> yes, give me this Absol. This is staying on the team for a time being. Let's see if it's actually any good. It's called Shadow, not even a bad name. Um, it's level five, which kind of sucks. Its IVs are pretty bad, and it has no moves. Well, I'll train that up as well, I guess. So we have a little bit of a team coming together. All I kind of want is an electric type, and we're good to go. Oh my god. I'm worried. Team Asgard has some disturbing side plans for Pokemon. We, the Rangers, have to stop them. Um, let's see if any of these Pokemon are holding items. Purely because they might be. You never know. Dratini? Ooh. Ooh. The Turtwig? Why is it two Eevees? I already spoke to you. Um, let's see what about you. Being a ranger can be a really dirty job, but it's really fun. That's nice. Litwick, are you holding an item? Nope. Hey, are you a Pokemon Ranger? Yeah, sure. Oh, wow, that's great. Here. Oh, wow, we get Fly for the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We got... F I'm lining it. I'm giving it to Staraptor for certain. And we're going to get rid of Quick Attack, because I kind of want to keep Aerial Ace, because I don't like Fly being a two-turn move. So we're going to get rid of Quick Attack. We're pretty fast anyway, so we shouldn't need it. We should be fine with the moves that we have. Okay. I wasn't expecting to get Fly like that. I really like being a Ranger. I get to explore cool places, meet new people, and become friends with rare Pokemon. That's nice. Best Ranger Rider saved 100 Pokemon from Unlawful. Yeah, yeah. Hello, you look like quite the trainer. You should check out a Ranger's program. You should go. Yeah, I don't care. Pokemon were rescued from a strange hypnotic device. Okay. I am the Ranger Club Master. If you believe in the freedom of Pokemon exploitation... Oh, the freedom from Pokemon exploitation. That makes a bit more sense. You should join us. What do you say? Yeah, sure. Okay, come see me to do a mission when you're ready. Yeah, I'm here to do a mission. Some strange machine. Oh. 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 I didn't... I didn't think it would actually make me come and do a thing right away. I was just going... Okay, well, let's just put Queen Drone in front for the time being, and let's go defeat Team Asgard quickly. I I mean, why not? Let's try and round this up, as I accidentally started something that I didn't really mean to start. <laughs> um, I'm just going to headbutt this thing, because that way it will stay as a normal type, and I'll just brine it when it's under half health. Actually, I'll brine it now, especially as we got the poison point. You can stop that. You have to hit all five times. Did you really have to? 
Actually, I could probably cancel the mission now that I think about it by walking back through, so I might just go do that. That, that sounds a little bit better. I'm gonna go cancel the mission, rather than start something at 20 minutes in. Uh, learning agility. No, thank you. Giraffe rig. I can stay in against a giraffe rig. What's a giraffe rig gonna do? Probably stomp me and flinch me into oblivion. That's generally what they do. You're gonna even use an agility. Are you now gonna stomp me? Every giraffe rig I have ever gone up against. But we don't get flinched, so it's fine. I swear to god, giraffe rig only ever uses stomp. And you also have a pile of swine, which we can use Brian on, and probably one hit. So, Team Asga. It, it survived? It, it survived? Pilot Swine too bulky. Pilot Swine too freaking bulky. Okay. Got it. Um, let's see if we can actually get back this way. I can't abandon a mission. Wow. Okay then. Looks like we're gonna keep running. Looks like we are gonna have to just keep going with this, even though I don't particularly want to. I'd much rather round up the episode to keep them around 20 minutes. But this is gonna be a slightly longer episode, so we're gonna keep doing this mission. And we're gonna see just how long it takes. Sends in a cacturn. Okay, level 32. The levels are uh, definitely climbing. They are definitely climbing, especially as we only have three Pokemon. And they're staying on par with us. I get the feeling it's going to be a lot more difficult once we've leveled up Absol and Charmeleon. Sends in a jump bluff. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't swap into um, Star Raptor, but oh well. It's fine. It's a jump bluff. What's it going to do? Apparently be surprisingly bulky. Why did that thing not get like one hit? You're a jump bluff. There's a crit. That'll do. We actually could have... We, we needed that crit. Can't even be mad. And you're also going to send in Vileplume, which we are going to go into Starbound, and we're just going to use Fly on. I would Aerial Ace it, but I don't feel like Aerial Ace will actually kill. We're Starbound. We're a Staraptor. We have, like, base 120 attack. We have base 120 attack. Base 120 attack. We get crit, so I can't even tell if we could have killed or not. Great. I feel like that wouldn't have been enough. I think crit mad. Get a lot of XP for that Vileplume, though. And you're going to send in Masquerade, which is also weak to flying. Your entire team is weak to flying. The whole team. Your entire team is also weak to fire. So, um, great team. Great team. Quality team. And you're going to go for Water Spout. Um, not Water Spout. Water Support. If Masquerade got Water Spout, that book would be great. But it doesn't. Um, we're going to get a load more XP. We're going to continue running... I see why four talks about you so much. Wait, four talks about me? Aw, cute! <laughs> uh, we're gonna send Queendra back in in front. We're gonna keep these levels nice and equal. Um, we can go to the right, but I feel like... We'd... I'm gonna go to the right. I'm gonna go to the right. Hi, you went the wrong way. I mean, I still feel like there's an item back there. That's the only reason I'm going this way. I can't miss an item. But I have no idea how long this is going to actually take, so I might just round up the episode here. I'm pretty tempted to just round up the episode. Sucker Punch. Spinder, you played me. Spinder, you didn't even kill me with a Sucker Punch? Spinder. Spinder, you, you... What are you doing? Zangoose wants to come in. Uh, we can close combat that. We have the fighting type move now. We are good to go. Starbound is going to really start leveling quickly with this Lucky Egg. I need to put that onto Queendra. Because Starbound is now really powerful and it's probably going to be coming in a hell of a lot more than what it used to. I'm pretty sure I only put the Lucky Egg on after the Steel Gym because Gabite swept it. Oh well. We get a ton of XP. Starbound is getting to a ridiculous point. Gabite can go and use its Babby Quake on... <laughs> I really need to rename that to Babby Quake. Its exclamation mark on the Sviper to take it out. Nice and simple. Type effectiveness. We've even... Three Pokemon. We still have pretty good move coverage all round. We can deal with most Pokemon. I like it. And finally, you send in Mandibuzz. See, now that we can't hit as well. We're just going to stay in, I guess. Although it has pretty good defenses. I guess we can just Dragon Claw it down. Should do a fair amount. That does nothing. Punishment does a lot. Probably going to lose Kabite to this. Yeah. I could have used a super potion. Don't know why I didn't. 
Could have done that. Oh well. Queendra, please have speed. Go with Brian. Good. Brian will take it out because it does like double damage when it's under half health. So it's like a base 130 move, which is really nice. And there we go. You beat me the right way. Now, is there actually an item this way? God damn it. God damn it. Okay, well, I think we're going to round up the episode here. So, there's no point in doing that. There is no point in doing that. Do you know why there's no point in doing that? Because we need to actually finish this. I can see the end. And if I'm going to freaking train up Charmeleon and Absol, I can't log off here. So, we're going to have to continue. As painful as that is. Um, go Geodude. You can actually deal with Ophira. This is going to become a very long episode. It really is. This is going to become an incredibly long episode. That is for certain. So we're going to rock throw the Fero. The Fero is going to be destroyed. Um, we are taking a fair amount of damage. Yeah, well, what, what, what do I expect? I'm level 19. This is level 33. Um, we can now go into Starbound, and we can finish up with a fly or a return. Return should finish it up. Return should finish it up. It outspeeds. Okay, return had better finish it up. It does. Okay, good. We're kind of relying on Staraptor to deal with everything from this point on. Rapidash. Yeah, okay, we are still relying on it because this would outspeed our freaking... Uh, Rapidash would outspeed us either and take it out in one. Oh dear. Oh dear. Fly should do a good amount. Fly nearly kills. It goes for the takedown, takes itself out. Okay. We are taking a lot of damage. Starbound is now level 37. Yan Mega. Okay, we can aerialize this. This is... This is so reliant on Starbound. Oh my god. So aerialize takes it out. Good. Seriously relying on Star Mount here. <laughs> and you also have Flareon, which we may as well go into Queen Dra against. We may as well go into the Queen Dra and at least get some usage out of it on 5 HP. I should really super potion up. That's what I should do. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna super potion up. We really need to do that. Where are our items? Super potions. We also have revives, so we can also use them if worst comes to worst. I'll probably use a revive on Kapai if I need to. Um, we are going to go for the Brine. Should do probably around three quarters of his health. Actually, I say that. Yeah, Flareon has a really great special defense. I forget that. And we're at Brines. This, this, this is going to take forever, isn't it? This is going to take me forever. Oh my god. <laughs> we get the poison point. Okay, so it's definitely dying. I mean, it was definitely dying to a headbutt, but definitely dying. Queen Dreads level 36. Wants to learn Hydro Pump. Honestly, we're going to learn it instead of Focus Energy, just so we can have some freaking war type moves or some PP. How long is this mission going to take? Oh my god. We are actually... You know what? I may have actually split the episode in two by now. I don't even know. I don't even know. I could have very possibly split the episode in two by now. We're going to go for Hydro Pump purely because it's strong. That's half its health. Not even bad. Not even bad. We just need to basically land another one. And we miss. Second Hydro Pump. And we miss. Okay. Okay. This is going to be called the Marathon Episode. Guaranteed. This is called the Marathon Episode. The episode that doesn't end. <laughs> That's what this feels like. Because I am determined to get through this entire freaking mission, and this mission took forever. Forever. Not even an understatement, this mission is taking forever. Simi Seer. Okay, we're gonna go for the fly. Fly is our strongest move, we have to go for the fly. So if you want to take it out, we have to do it. It may not even kill, it's a Simi Seer. Okay, it does, Starbound, you are honestly everything. You are gonna be such a high level compared to the rest. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I think we should just... I might just have to let Starbound die just so we can go back and heal. And I can stop leveling this thing up. It's such a high level. <laughs> it's such a high level. I hate this. 
I'm dying on the inside, okay? I am dying. This Pokemon is such a high level compared to the rest. Do you know how this makes my OCD feel? This makes my OCD feel really bad. <laughs> okay, we're nearly through it. We, we are very, very nearly through it. If we faint, I am not even going to be mad. Crocorock, we can't kill it. Oh, we, we, can, we can kill this in one. We have close combat. What am I on about? Oh my god. I'm not going to purposefully lose. I'm not going to purposefully kill myself. But oh my god, this... This is going on for a while. <laughs> this is going on for a long while. <laughs> Level 40! 40! <laughs> Level 40! What is this? And then, like, we'll fight the last guy and his last Pokemon will have Sturdy and kill us. Guaranteed. A bomb of snow. We can also take this out. We can take this out too. We're just gonna go for the aerial ace. Ice shot. There we go. There we go. Okay, this is gonna defeat us. We can... Don't worry. It's all good. We're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and we're gonna be able to train. That's what's gonna happen here. Alright, so um, as Zangoose is gonna die, there's literally no point in me doing anything other than going for the slash. I don't know. Ice shot may even kill. It doesn't quite kill. Slash does a. F a that did a fair amount, actually. I'm not even that mad. It's, it's a fair amount. Ice Shard takes us out, we'll go in Shadow, Shadow will go down. <sighs> okay, the marathon episode is drawing to a close, guys, don't worry. It's drawing to a close. It's all gonna end soon. This is to make up for all the shorter episodes, guaranteed. This was purposeful. Everything I- this, this was all on purpose. Mm -hmm. That did one. That did one damage. One. <clears throat> Can you please just go for an Ice Shard or something? Please just kill me. Please. Come on, I literally just said it was drawing to a close. I need you to actually attack me. Come on, a bomb of smoke. Ice shard. Ice shard. There we go. Right, okay. My god, that felt like it went on for too long, all because the mission was not what I expected. Scurried to a Pokemon Center. Okay, so if you guys have enjoyed this incredibly long episode, leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button, it really helps out. Chime me in, and Absol will be trained up. Bye next episode, and without further ado, bye!